A man in Saudi Arabia is seeking legal action against his new bride after he claims she refused to spend time with him. This despite the fact that he paid a dowry of nearly $20,000. Now, this would normally in Saudi Arabia just be a dispute between families except for this. The man is reportedly 70 years old and his bride says she's just 15 years old. Young girls being forced to marry old men is an ugly reality in much of the world, but in Saudi Arabia, the issue for women is not just behind closed doors. In addition to the concealing dress, which they must wear by law, women must be accompanied by a male guardian. They can be stopped and forced to show papers proving their relationship to the man that they're with. And women I know there tell me this practice is a little less common than it used to be. But the truth is, you can't leave the country as a woman unless your male guardian is signed off on it. I, I've seen the forms that they have to provide at the airport. And when I saw it, it sent a chill down my spine. Certainly, it's time for change. And how about starting with driving? Saudi Arabia is the only country in the world that still prohibits women from driving a car. It has been that way since 1979. Far from being an edict thousands of years old, it's very recent. When I'm there, I never get used to the fact that there are only men behind the wheel. Women aren't allowed to be with men they are related to in Saudi Arabia, except in the car where they're driven around by expats from Pakistan and Southeast Asia. That they are not related to at all. Many women in America, when they hear hypocrisy like that, assume the situation in Saudi Arabia is hopeless. But the truth is, is that Saudi Arabia is primed for a great awakening. According to Oxford Strategic Consulting, about 57% of Saudi women have university degrees, most of them postgraduate. They are being given amazing educations. They just haven't had the opportunity. Women make up only 15% of the Saudi labor force, the lowest in the world. And roughly 60% of Saudi women with PhD degrees are not working outside the home. It's a pretty amazing statistic. You want everyone to have the choice whether to stay at home or whether to work. I've spent time in Saudi Arabia with some incredibly driven women who love their country, want to stay there, and want to change it for the better. They want jobs, and they want families, and they want freedom. Here's hoping they succeed.